Hello, hello, this is Professor Brady. Uh, we're doing our lecture six, or lecture eight, the, okay, good start. Our midterm exam prep, all right. So we will talk about important information about the exam. We'll review all the questions for your notebooks. Have your notebooks ready, definitely. I'm gonna tell you like, this, ex this question, this question, this question is not an exam question, okay? I am gonna tell you which are our actual exam questions and which are not. So yeah, you can you can make your studying a lot easier by like not studying things you don't need to basically. For the midterm, number one, don't be late, okay? I think almost every year I have like at least one student that uh, the exam finishes and then they call me and they say, oh, uh, when can I do my exam? And it's like, well, it's two o'clock. The exam finished at one o'clock. It's an oral exam. It's not a piece of paper I can just give you and you can do in class, you know? Like we actually have to sit down and be able to talk back and forth. And so it's not something we can really do at any time. Um, yeah. If you cannot make it, do two things. This is very, very important, okay? First of all, let me know before your exam time, all right? If you contact me the next day and say, oh, I was sick, well, that's way too late. That really is, you should be, if you're sick, you can still send a text message, right? You just have to send me a bad message saying, hey, I can't make it, I'm gonna get a doctor's note. All good, right? And yeah, number two, get a doctor's note, okay? You should always get a doctor's note when you're sick, but yeah. For the exam, if you don't have a doctor's note, I just can't give you the exam. That's the rules according to the university, all right? Uh, if you come early though, I can probably fit you in early, right? So if you're scheduled at say 11.45 and you come at 11.10, I can probably, yeah, get your exam finished early. So that, that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, many classes have 20 or more students, right? So I think I have one class that's less, but yeah, we will only be doing six questions, right? I do have to give all the different classes the same exam. So yeah, it, it, I'm only doing six questions even for the smaller classes. So the entire exam should take less than five minutes. This is very, very fast. I think people come into the exam expecting it to be really difficult and long or something. And almost every time when uh, the students are finished, they're like, oh, that was so quick and easy. Like, yeah, it's not, this is not like a tricky exam. This isn't a long exam. This isn't a super difficult exam. Um, I think as long as you study your notebooks, you should be able to do very well on it, okay? The questions will be marked on a scale of zero to two, all right? So every question I am going to rate zero for, you know, it basically if you don't answer the question at all, I would give you a zero. And two, if you do perfect, right? What's really important about this is that try, right? A lot of students, I'll ask a question, they'll go, oh, I don't know, uh, I give up. And they don't even try, like just give it a shot, right? You might as well try. Try your best and hopefully, you know, you can get at least one point. Not answering the question at all is zero. That's the worst, right? If you say something even partly correct, I can give you one point at least, all right? So that that is definitely much better. There are two main criteria for I'm looking for, okay? First of all, answer the question. I see this a lot in class and it's something that I think even in conversation in English, a lot of times if I'm talking to my friend who's also, also an English speaker, if I ask a question, a lot of times someone will answer, but they'll say something that's like the answer to a different question. Uh, I think the number one example is, what do you do and what are you doing? People get very confused by that. What do you do? What is your job? I'm a student or I study. I study at Sewan University. Those are all fine answers for that. What are you doing? I am sitting in a chair, right? If I say, what are you doing? And you say, I'm a student. 
No, that's, that's wrong, right? That does not answer the question at all. Uh, I would probably say zero for that, even if you did say I am sitting is grammatically correct. But yeah, if you don't answer the question at all, that's, uh, yeah, that's not good. Anyway, full sentence answer also. A lot of times people will try to give one word answers. Like um, if I say, do you like pizza? Yes, I do. Not just yes, right? People say yes or no to close questions. Full sentence, all right? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Not just yes or no, all right? So don't use one word answers. What food do you like? Pizza. I like pizza, all right? And anyway. All right, here we are going to review all the question sheets we have done so far. So I'm gonna go over all of the question sheets, all right? So if you are missing anything, make sure to get it now. So I'm going to discuss what makes a good question for the examiners and what is not a good question. Uh, that's a big part of what I'm going over here. I am gonna say, this is definitely not an exam question and this is potentially an exam question. For the exam, I have lists of questions. I don't give everyone the exact same exam. I can't really do that because then as soon as the first person did the exam, they could tell everyone else what the questions are. And uh, yeah, the exam kind of wouldn't work after that. Um, so I need to change the exam as we go along, right? So no two students are gonna have the exact same questions, right? For every question, I have four options and I'm gonna ask a different one to each student, okay? Questions I will not use. All right, so there are three main criteria I look at for bad questions. First of all, uh, qu a question that asks you something you may not know. Behind me is something, I thought I fixed that. Something like, what is your best friend doing? Is a question we have on one sheet you could say, I don't know. If someone asked me, what is your best friend doing? Um, no idea, right? Why would I know that? I'm not going to ask questions like that. A question that has a very long answer. So this is something I reviewed in some of the classes where it's like, what is your phone number? My phone number is 010-227-0331. That's way too long, right? I think it, it'll, uh, it's something that can be extra difficult just because of how long it is. That's not really fair, right? If one student has a question, it's a very short answer, and then another student has a very, very long answer, that's just not fair, so I won't be doing those. A question that does not have a clear answer. Okay, so a lot of the questions, you can choose many different possible answers, but there are also questions that, that may be do not have a clear uh, right or wrong answer, right? Uh, the example I used in class before is, how do you spell your last name? Uh, with some Korean names you could do, if like if it's Kim, K-I-M is correct, sure, okay. What about you, right? If your family name is you, how do you spell you? You could spell it just with a U or Y-U or Y-O-U or Y-U-E. All of those spell you, right? There's no clear, correct answer for that. So not an exam question. This would be a very bad exam question. When answering questions, okay, give a full sentence answer. Answer the question that is asked. Again, make sure you're answering the question I ask you, not a similar question. That's the number one there. You do not have to tell me the truth. I will not check. Okay, so if I say, uh, what does your father do? And you say, he is an astronaut. I'm gonna go, okay, sounds great. Two out of two, right? Two points, 100%. I'm not gonna call your dad and say, hey, uh, so-and-so, your son or daughter said you're an astronaut. Are you an astronaut? Like, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Say whatever you want. If it's grammatically correct and it answers the question, I'm happy. It doesn't have to be true. Um, it really doesn't. But anyway, it is better to think of a good example answer, right? 
What does your father do? Saying he is a banker, great, right? Even if your dad is not a banker, it doesn't make a difference to me and I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, so. All right, here. Okay, so we're going to get started on our unit one questions. Uh, I gotta move myself here. Unit one is sharing basic information and getting to know you questions. Remember that you should try to get, give any specific information, right? Give specific information, not very general. For instance, I am from Korea is a bad answer, right? If you're not in Korea, if you're in Canada, if you're in the, you, the United States or something, saying I am from Korea, okay. If you're in Korea and you say I am from Korea, yeah, I, I assumed you were from the country we're in right now. That's not information, right? That's not giving information. I am from Cheongju, I am from Seoul, I am from Busan, I am from Daejeon. Much, much better, okay? So this is something where it's like answer the question. You're not really answering the question if you're not giving any information, right? So do not say I am from Korea. Just don't, okay? I think every time someone says it, almost every time, all right? Pay attention to the question. Make sure to match the verb tense, all right? So if I say, does he? Yes, he does. Or do you? Yes, I do, right? Do or does, you're matching the verb tense. That's very important, okay? That is something where if you make a mistake, it would cost you one point. It, it you know, you could still have a yes, yes, I do instead of yes, he does. I would still give you one point, but yeah you would be missing half the mark for uh, that question. Anyway, I'm going to... Uh, oh, my computer's not agreeing with me again. Always. Oh, good. All right, here we go. So this is our unit one, or these are our unit one questions, I should say. Let me get that moved around a bit. Oh, it doesn't want to let me slide it. Okay, fine. So what's your last name? Okay, this is something people very consistently get confused on because Korean names and foreign names are opposite, right? So when I say, what's your last name? I mean, what is your family name? Your family name, okay? So I would say, my last name is Braby. Um, Someone else, uh, say, uh, Kim Yuna would say, my last name is Kim, right? Your family name, not the name that comes first or last. Again, we say last name, we do not mean the last name in, in order. I'm going to move this up a bit. What's your first name? Again, your given name is your first name. So, my first name is Joseph. Again, with my name, my first name is my given name, Joseph Brady, right? Again, with Kim Yuna, she would say my first name is Yuna, right? Even though it comes last, it's her given name, right? Not her family name, her given name. How do you spell your last name? We This is not an exam question because I there's a good chance there may not be a correct answer. How old are you? Remember, if you just say, I'm 41 years old, uh, you wouldn't say that. I would say that because I'm old. But anyway, I, it means Western age, right? If you want to say Korean age, you should say, my Korean age is 20. All right. Or I'm 18 years old. I think a lot of people in class said, I'm 20 years old. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are not 20. Again, I'm not going to check. So if you say that, I'll accept it. But more of a technicality, I guess. What's your phone number? What's your email address? I am not going to ask these questions. These are very bad exam questions, right? Your email address might be in Korean. So what's the point even, right? Okay. Are you married? Yes, I'm married or no, I'm single. Probably no, I'm single, right? I would say I'm married. 
Do you have a boyfriend or girlfriend? I am not going to ask this because it's kind of awkward, I think, all right? It's a weird question to ask. You should not ask people this question in general. I think it's a good practice question, but it's also like, if you ask this, especially if I ask this to a female, it, it would sound like I'm suggesting I want to date that female. Or if a woman says to a guy, oh, do you have a girlfriend? It's suggesting that she wants to date him, okay? So I would just not, uh, I would avoid using that. Anyway, where are you from? This is my number one favorite question. Hint, hint, my favorite question from this whole unit. Again, say the city, okay? Do not say I'm from Korea. Don't say it, don't say it. I am from Cheongju, I'm from uh, Daejeon, I'm from Seoul, I'm from where, whatever the city is, okay? Again, I'll say I'm from uh, Winnipeg. I'll say I'm from Winnipeg. That you probably doesn't mean anything to you because Winnipeg is a very small city, but anyway. And remember, what do you do means what is your job, right? What do you do is not what are you doing, it's what is your job, okay? This is something that I've had come up on exams before, hint, hint, and uh, yeah. It's, it's always very like, uh, okay, we went over this so many times though. Anyway, what do you do? What are you doing, right? What do you do? I'm a professor. What are you doing? I'm making a video, right? Not the same thing at all. Okay, so there's our first one done. Check this real quick. Okay, good. Unit two. Again, hopefully you have your notebooks out and you should at least be noting which ones are good questions, which ones are bad questions, right? So that you know for the exam what to study and not what not to focus on, all right? We already had three questions that I said not on the exam, right? What does your father do, right? My father is a businessman. Don't say this, do not say this. Very bad answer, right? Businessman, that doesn't mean anything, okay? My father is a banker, my father is a taxi driver, my father is a construction worker, my father is a whatever it may be. And again, you can just say anything you want. My father is a policeman. Okay, sure. I'm not gonna call your dad and ask him. I'm not. Just say whatever. Where does he work? Once again, two ways to answer using in or for. It's important to use these correctly though, right? He works in Cheongju, he works for Samsung, okay? And you could combine them. He works for Samsung in Cheongju. If you want to, I would say, keep your answers as short as possible though. So choose one, all right? Just choose one. Again, if you, if you just say he works in Cheongju, even if your dad does not work in Cheongju, I don't know, right? You can just say that. I don't know, I'm not gonna check. And even if I did know it wasn't true, I'd be fine with it. Does he like his job? This is a weird question. I probably wouldn't ask this. Yes, he likes his job, no, he doesn't. Again, yes, he does, no, he doesn't is very good for that. What do you do? Again, what do you do, not what are you doing? Just every, every time someone says, I am sitting. What do you do? I am sitting. I'm a student. I think the easiest answer is just, I'm a student. You can say, I study biocosmetics or pharmacy or software at Sewon University. That's perfectly good. I will give you two marks for that. But if you just say, I'm a student, I will give you two marks for that, right? The much shorter answer is much safer. There's a lot more in long answers, the more, you're more likely to uh, make a mistake. So yeah, keeping it short, I think is a very good idea. What do you want to be? Again, I want to be a, uh, whatever it may be. And you can say anything. It doesn't have to be like, if you're studying pharmacy, I want to be a pharmacist. Like, 
You don't have to say, you can say, I want to be an actor. Yeah, I want to be a singer. Hey, that's fine, right? That's fine. Oh, here we go. And people are being loud in the hallway again. Oh, good. Hey, lots of fun. Anyway, oh, and I uh, think I need to make space again. How often, all right, unit three, mostly focus on how often questions, right? So using adverbs of frequency. Again, to go over the adverbs of frequency, never, rarely, sometimes, usually, often, always, okay? So we do have a lot of them. We have six we're using here. Uh, I think sometimes is probably the most used. Never and always. Sometimes I think you could probably use for almost any answer and it would be okay, right? Maybe never or always as well. Anywho, make sure you want to say subject I and before the verb, the adverb goes before the verb. I always, I never, I sometimes. Uh, these you can actually put anywhere, but I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, subject, verb, object, right? I always go to the gym. I never eat sandwiches or whatever it may be, right? Or I sometimes. Again, I sometimes I think is probably my top pick because people just having things where you're like, sometimes it's very non-committal. It's like, yeah, I do, but not all the time. Sometimes can really mean almost anything other than never and always sometimes is just like somewhere in the middle, right? It's the safest answer, I think. For instance, again, I never go to the gym. If you say, if you never go to the gym and you say, I sometimes go to the gym, I mean, I'm not gonna check, right? I'm not gonna call the gym and say, how often does that student go to the gym, right? I, I don't know, I'm fine either way. You can say whatever you want, really. Anywho. Uh, 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 unit three questions here. I think, well, these are some of the longer questions. These are actually the easiest to answer. The main thing, listen for the verb phrase. Verb phrase is uh, dong sabu, I think. Oh, just wait, I'm gonna double check. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it is dong sabu is verb phrase, yeah. I get very confused. Anyway, how often do you go to the gym? Again, listen, as soon as you hear how often, remember you're going to first of all say I, and then your uh, adverb of frequency. Make sure to use your adverb of frequency. Excuse me? Um, so I sometimes, I always, I never, I often. I would just really focus on I never, I always, I sometimes, right? Go to the gym. Make sure you're listening. If you want me to repeat the question, I can do that. If you want me to repeat the question many times, that might lose you a mark. But one time, no problem, right? I think that's very fair. Uh, I sometimes go to the gym. How often do you play computer games? Again, play computer games is your verb phrase, dong sabu. Uh, I always play computer games. Uh, I, yeah, I don't like that. Read a book. I never read a book or I sometimes read a book. Main thing, just make sure you're getting the verb phrase, okay? Make sure how often, as soon as you hear how often, you should be like, oh, I have to say I, Adverb of frequency, verb phrase. Okay, this is these are very easy to answer, but they're like the longest questions that are easy to answer. I think so. It it feels a little tricky, but it's not. I think it's they're very very simple to answer, but yeah, just make sure you get the verb phrase. Okay, that is number one.